Welcome folks. So I'm currently working on rendering this quantum chip in Blender. And of course it was the layout was designed in K layout and then cleaned up and split up into two different layers. And I also split it up into two different files. The first file actually has the primary geometries of the chip. And then the second file is a set of thousands thousands and thousands of tiny dots that we call cheesing on the superconducting chip. And these tiny dots basically are here to allow us to, well, create a Boolean on the chip. And then the Boolean can be subtracted from the main thin film in order to pattern these holes. So let me see here. You can see these tiny holes in this superconducting thin film. And these holes basically are here to prevent this thing called a superconducting vortex or abracosa vortex. You can look this up. This is discovered by Alexander Abrikosov, a Russian physicist from back in the day. And basically what happens, what's been observed is that these vortex patterns, these superconducting vortices can generate heat, they can generate interference, or they can interfere with the transmission line of the chip. And this is not something you want. You want to prevent this from happening or discourage it from happening to some extent. And when you, when you pattern these holes, then you can preserve the quality factor of the chip itself. So when we pattern it into a real device in the clean room, then we, we should be able to see those holes on there. And there you go. So when this is done, when it's ready for rendering, then I may change the color of this. It, right now it looks kind of gold. You see like a rendering preview here. <laughs> and then I'll upload it to YouTube. So there you go. Enjoy.